So when Dragon Ball Super Broly teased the reintroduction of Ultra Instinct with Goku, it made me wonder, should this form even come back? And if it does, what should be the thing that brings it out? Let's jump right into it. Hey YouTubers, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on these social media platforms. Enjoy the video. So you guys know that I'm not a power scaler when it comes to Dragon Ball. If you want that stuff, you have to go to Seth or MJ or Karthu or any of the other people who deal with that type of narrative or look at the series in that way. For me, I like story. I like characters. I like to focus on the situations that push our main characters into new and interesting relationships, friendships, you know, just different dynamics, different settings. And because Dragon Ball is Dragon Ball, that means different power-ups, different aesthetics, and everything surrounding that. And that was one of the reasons that Ultra Instinct was so cool. Ultra Instinct Omen and Ultra Instinct Perfected with the white hair. We've never seen Goku in that state before, and seeing him get that power-up during the Tournament of Power going after Jiren being pushed to his limit after a 45 minute fight where he was the one taking out the vast majority of every single universe to me that feels earned it kind of felt genuine even though it was wow Goku always gets super big power-ups and this is probably the worst one that we've ever seen just in just in terms of like this guy got so much stronger in such a short amount of time but we're never really going to see or there's going to be very few instances in Dragon Ball's future, at least I hope, that has to bring out that much power and that much exhaustion to achieve this form again with Goku. Ultra Instinct is a cool transformation. It's something that a lot of fans, myself included, would like to see again in Dragon Ball, but it shouldn't be the next step in Goku's evolution or his next transformation that he uses every single time with Dragon Ball Super making Super Saiyan Blue, Goku's main transformation, and then kind of pushing it even further to have Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken be his ultimate transformation, or at least his go-to. I don't want to see that with Ultra Instinct. In fact, I would much rather see Blue Evolved become Goku's transformation, or maybe just stay as Vegeta's if it's just going to stay as Vegeta's, or maybe because they've introduced Broly, they've introduced the Azaru form, maybe you give Super Saiyan 4 a chance, whether that's going to be one of the ways they beat Moro or whatever. I mean, that would be kind of cool, of course, you could give other characters different power-ups. You can give Piccolo a major power-up, as a lot of people are thinking they're going to do in the manga. You can finally give Gohan a power-up that he was talking about before the beginning of the Tournament of Power. Or you can just focus on different characters. The point is, Goku doesn't need to get Ultra Instinct again anytime soon because... At the very least, this needs to be all hope is lost and everyone is just simply out of it type of transformation. Goku needs to be pushed to the very limit and has to pull it out of himself. He can't just simply tap into it whenever he wants because that's going to lose, at least in my opinion, all of the gravitas of this transformation. It's going to make Ultra Instinct just as commonplace and just as eh. You know, I've seen it way too many times as Super Saiyan Blue became throughout Dragon Ball Super and that was the biggest annoyance with myself and I'm sure a lot of other people with Super Saiyan Blue throughout Dragon Ball Super is once he got that transformation they used it for almost everything. They held off for a very long time during the Shampa arc and when they finally did turn Super Saiyan Blue against Hit it did feel genuine and that's why that Hit fight both with Vegeta and Goku is one of my favorite fights in Dragon Ball Super but after that they just went into their blue forms immediately almost one after another just to show off or fight characters it was hard to kind of figure out who was as strong as who or how strong any of villains were because they were using it in such a way to train people like krillin and 18 and 17 and all these other people to recruit for the tournament of power and it made sense at the time because goku wanted to see how krillin and ten shinhan and gohan and roshi and all these other people would deal with characters that are as strong as Super Saiyan Blue because they didn't know how strong anybody was going to be during the Tournament of Power. So you need to see how these people that Goku knows are weaker than this form deal with someone who's that much stronger. It kind of allowed for the Tournament of Power to be more about strategy than brute force strength, even though it just became brute force strength for the most part. But the overuse of Super Saiyan Blue during that time really killed that transformation for me. I'm sure a lot of other people. I just don't want to see that happen 
happen again to Ultra Instinct. I think that there's enough, not just in the future of the series or different transformations that they can come up with or maybe different colors or different iterations of Super Saiyan God or whatever, but also the extended universe of Dragon Ball with Super Saiyan 4 or just pushing it further, just different transformations for Super Saiyans, maybe different transformations or power-ups for Namekians, humans, or anything else like that in order to keep us away from this pinnacle of power and this one thing that Goku's going to have in his back pocket for that right moment at the very end of a major arc or something like that, tapping into that power and being able to use it against a real threat and a real enemy that pushes everyone to the brink. And this is the only way that we can win. To me, that would help Ultra Instinct become one of those iconic transformations that's not just simply overused and something that we get tired of. So I want to just throw that out there. Tell me in the comment section below what your thoughts on this are because I'm not entirely sure and I feel like a lot of people will have different opinions and ideas of what Ultra Instinct should be for the future of Dragon Ball and how they should use that with Goku, maybe Vegeta in the future, maybe Gohan or just other people getting this transformation or power up or whatever it might be in the future. Tell me in the comments. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. Also, go down to the description section below. Hit that link and go follow me on Twitter where we can talk about Dragon Ball, anything else I talk about on this channel, anything I talk about on my other channel, or just anything at all. Just have a general conversation because it's always much easier on Twitter, guys. It just really is. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. It's been real.